In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the wisdom and strength of the cross, with which you are pleased to endow St. Rita, so that, suffering in every tribulation with Christ, we may participate ever more deeply in the Paschal Mystery, who lives and reigns with you and the other Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack or harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half, and taught the word of God among them. But when in Gallo, he was with the Jews who rose up together with Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallo spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime, malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of your Jews. But since it is a question of argument over doctrine and titles, and your law, your own law, see, it is yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them out away from the tribunal. They all seized the synagogue official and beat him full view of the tribunal, but none of them were concerned with Galileo. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to his brothers, he sailed to Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquilia, and he shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the most high and the awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He brings people under his nations, under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. He mounts his throne with a, amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid triumph, trumpet blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, 
She no longer remembers the pain because of her joy, that the child has been born into the world. So you also know in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning as we honor St. Rita, the inner woman of great faith and trust, but she would look to the cross to be a great sign of hope in her own daily life, knowing that even though the anguish in which our Lord suffered in going through the crucifixion, it was done out of great love, love for each and every one of us. And St. Rita realized that in her own daily life, in her own sufferings, she looked to the cross to be a great joy, to be a great hope in her own daily life. And we too look to the cross today as a sign to us of God's love for us, that he would send his only son into the world to give us the great gift of hope and to bring the great gift of joy into our own daily life. As we look to the cross today, as we see that symbol in our own daily life, we look to it as a sign of God's love, a sign of great hope, knowing that it was his love, his death and resurrection, that we look to and recognize that the presence of Christ is always with us, that we too, as we carry our own crosses, know that the cross of Christ is our great hope and our great joy in our daily life. God bless you. Trusting the Lord knows our grief and anguish, we present our needs to Him. That the Lord may heal the wounds of His church and bring justice and healing to her members, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may overcome nations in conflict, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may relieve the sufferings of all who struggle with disease or in ill health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring consolation to those of our community who are mourning the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and may experience eternal life with Christ in the glory of the resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those petitions which we hold deep within our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And especially remember that power is pierced for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of wonder and might, we bring these prayers before you. Hear and answer them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, we call for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we would come to share the food of Christ and home for himself to share our food. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may it be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours 
may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good will of his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, power of sin and death, ascended the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Meteor between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to a dis distance himself from the lowly state, but that his, we his members might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graces to make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death. You will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Kevin, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy, 
and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep me safe, Richard. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray.
And do, O thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.